welcome and thank you for tuning in. You're listening to the Beyond 50 radio program. I'm Daniel Davis. Today we thought we would kind of reach into the ethers with the technology that seems to be either available at our fingertips or just about to be. After all, for many of us who like to stand in those long lines when Apple rolls out their new system of phones, we seem to find the things that we're looking for are high-efficiency data transfer. But one thing that we don't really pay attention to is the cost that we may have outside of that ticket price that we pay at the counter. For instance, radio frequency radiation, which is also called RFR, which could possibly cause damage to our DNA, which may be the promotion of things such as cancer due to long-term exposure. I'd like to welcome the Beyond 50 radio program today, our guest and the founder of International Health, based in Scottsdale, Arizona, who's going to be talking about this connectivity that may give us more harm than good. Glenn Parnham, thank you for being on the Beyond 50 radio program today. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You bet. Now, let's talk about uh, what kind of uh, connectivity do we have with our current cell phones and technology as it is now? Well, uh, and, uh, okay, years ago, you know, okay, when all the cell phone towers started to go up and that, it was, um, it was always described with a number with a, with a G after it. It was 1G. Then it went to 2G, 3G. Okay, 4G has been the um, um, let's see, dominant technology. Now 5G is rolling out. So let's talk about 4G to 5G. Now I'm going to say some things today, Daniel. I want your listeners to know, okay, every, okay I have been a research scientist uh, for 30 years. International Health has been in business for 30 years, and I've been heavily involved with this research because I do so many radio shows uh, all the time, and I'm going to give out my personal number at my research office because I will email people any of the articles that they want to see because everything I'm going to talk about, this is not conspiracy theory, and uh, if you if you rely on mainstream deep state controlled media that means anything on tv you are not going to get the truth okay and uh um what is going on with this and uh, yeah and and all this talk about well you're going to be able to download movies you know 15 times faster well that's a lie and the scientists worldwide are screaming about this to the point where there was just a week-long webinar and they had probably 200 of the most brilliant scientific minds in the world. It was a seven-day event on the Internet and it generated over 200,000 emails with the information that was given out that we're going to talk today about a little bit, okay, about what this new technology... And, and the current technology, 4G, is, is, um, has been going on for a few years. Now we're moving to 5G, and most people are hearing about it. Um, it's, and everything mainstream media is talking about is based on money because there is a war going on. People have to realize the war between the technology that the United States and the U.K., that Europe has, is one form of 5G, and then the Chinese have an inferior form of 5G that they want to control the world with. So let's just talk about 4G for a minute, because we are now moving into 5G, like here in Arizona. It's been turned on. And uh, But 4G, I have a list of health symptoms. Now, these are medically proven sicknesses and symptoms that have been proven with full-blown medical science. And that's why the people who listen to this week-long webinar of the scientists talking about the dangers of this, because nobody in the financial system is talking about this, because we're talking trillions of dollars of, um, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, just business is at stake. But what I have in front of me, and if people will call me at my research office, I'll email them all these scientific reports if they want them. 
Now, you have to understand something, brother. Um, there is a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Ignorance is just not knowing. There's a very old saying that says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. In modern-day vernacular, that would be, well, people, because they're so ignorant, they just don't have all of the information, they're perishing. They're dying. They're getting sick and dying. So once people have this information and then don't do something about it, then they're stupid, okay? So let me just kind of read, and I'm not going to read them all because there's about 200 different symptoms medically proven to be caused from our exposure to wireless technology. We're not just talking cell phones and smartphones. The cell phone towers, which, how do you get away from it? Wi-Fi in your home. Smart meters on your home. Okay? Just a few of the symptoms. Confusion, short-term memory loss, inability to focus, brain fog, difficulty concentrating. So that has a lot to do with brain function. Headaches, migraines, vision disruptions, eye pain, cataracts, head or chest pressure, allergies, difficulty breathing, slow reaction time, a big one, sleep disruption and insomnia. Let me say this. It has been absolutely proven, and and all these radio shows that I do every week, uh, that's why when I give out my personal number at the research office, uh, I do consultations probably six to eight hours a day. I don't charge for them, okay? And any medical problem that people are having can be fixed. All this talk about, well, you have cancer, that's, you know, that's incurable. That's a lie. You have diabetes, it's incurable. That's a lie. I have sleep problems, insomnia. I don't think taking a drug is the main fix for that. But anything to do with sleep disruption and insomnia, let me guarantee you something. If people have Wi-Fi in their house, is literally every consultation that I do, and I go through this list, I ask people, what are you dealing with? You know, what medications are you on? Okay. And virtually 95% of the people are having problems sleeping. And when I ask them, do you have Wi-Fi in your house? And they said, well, yeah, why? I said, well, unless you unplug that at night. Because why do we need Wi-Fi running at night? Okay, uh, that they'll never sleep. Because people have to realize this wireless technology, it's called microwave radiation. So I use the example, um, what do you think would happen if you put your head in a microwave oven and turn it on. Would there be some ill effects? Yes. And the medical studies have proven if you have Wi-Fi going in your house, because that covers every square inch of your house. It's not just in your bedroom. It's in every room of the house. You will not sleep. It, it just, it's been proven. It causes anxiety. It causes depression. Golly. 130 million Americans taking one of the most evil drugs ever created. They're called serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Antidepressants, Prozac, Paxil, Wellbutrin. It caused terrible side effects. That's on this list, and I'll be happy to send them this list if they'll call me. Again, 480-429-0021. That rings right at my research office in Arizona. Okay, depression, suicide. Uh, irritability, seizures, nausea, flu-like symptoms, digestive problems, nosebleeds, okay, rapid aging of the skin, ringing in the ears. I hear that all the time, tinnitus, all these problems, okay, and the list goes on and on, and it's worse than children. Okay, the number one killer of our children is a brain cancer called glioblastoma. It's been d- directly proven in European studies to be caused from exposure to cell phones because parents allowing a child to use a cell phone, okay, and even though the instructions in the cell phone say do not hold it directly up to your head, well, children don't know, you know, so they're going to hold it right up to their head and uh, 
it's, it, it, it's the number one killer of our children, brain cancer. Something wrong with that picture? Okay. And, um, okay, exhaustion, chronic fatigue. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Autoimmune diseases. Okay. And it, it, it's just it is so sad. Okay. When they have a chance to see this entire list, it's like, are you kidding me? It's virtually every problem that is now plaguing mankind. And now, it's not the only cause. I don't want people to think I'm some kind of conspiratorial nutcase. This is pure medical science. And uh, them moving from 4G, these, uh, okay, symptoms I was just reading, Daniel, that's from this article about 4G. What's 5G going to do? It's 100 times worse. And, it's, yeah, and, and people have to understand that this frequency was developed decades ago. Frequency warfare was used in World War II, and there is a current uh, uh, okay, frequency warfare used by our military. It's called the active denial system. This is one reason when I watch some of the controlled media, I get so angry, because being here in Arizona, there's a lot of news about the invasion at the border and that, and we can't stop it. Excuse me. Now, the military has a system called the active denial system. It's this huge frequency generator on the back of a flatbed truck. They've used it in the Middle East wars for years. And what they can do, if there is a group of people that they don't want to congregate, if there is an area that they don't want people in, they, uh, and, and uh, okay, it can be from a half a mile away. And they put this active denial system. People can look it up. Just look it up on an Internet search engine. Active denial system. And, um, uh, and they turn on this frequency generator, point it in the direction, and from a half a mile away, if people are standing in the uh, area okay, where this frequency is being beamed into, it makes their skin burn so badly they have to get out of that area, okay, away from the uh, uh, okay, frequency generation. The frequency that is being generated by the active denial system is the 5G system. Hmm, how come we never hear about that? So, uh, uh, okay, part of this is bad news for us because, you know, how do you get away from you know, cell phones and cell phone towers and the new 5G antennas are not going to be like the big cell phone towers. They're going to be put on lampposts because they have to be much closer to the ground. They have to be very much closer together. And some countries are already fighting against this. It's been banned in some of the smaller countries in Europe because the, um, uh, the politicians who haven't been paid off, like our politicians, Okay, looked at all the research, and they said, "Wow, this is uh, this is absolutely provable that this is very damaging to human health." So some of the countries have actually banned it. So that's a long answer to a short question that you asked. But I want people just to understand now. And and uh, okay, here's some good news. Okay, is that we know what cellular damage is done these frequencies there is no question about it there I mean I've I've seen medical research papers and and it just depends how much information your listeners want I don't want to overload them but again if they'll call me and if they're taking any medications that they really want to get off of this is what I help people do uh, you know uh, you know like six days a week and I don't care what disease state because diseases don't just start Okay, diseases are a combination of uh, uh, um, toxicity in the human body and then deficiencies, and then what happens when those things happen and the cellular structure of the body starts to get broken down. We know how to repair that, and I'll give you an example. I don't know if you've been seeing it up in your area, but the, um, here in Arizona, and I talk to people all over the country, they're seeing advertisements on TV from law firms. And it's getting more and more and more about, have you been exposed to Roundup weed killer? 
and you have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma? Have you been seeing some of those ads on TV? Yeah, you certainly are seeing an infestation of uh, law commercials. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely, and you wait till you wait till it really gets going, because they're not, uh, uh, and they're not only advertising, you know, just their law firms in a 60-second commercial. You now have 30-minute and 60-minute infomercials that have groups of doctors and groups of lawyers talking about this Roundup Ready, the glyphosate. Okay, you're hearing them talk um, about the um, ovarian cancer caused from the talcum powder. Johnson Johnson just got nailed. But, okay, with the Roundup Ready, all right, and I've got the list of the foods, okay, because in the first lawsuit, you see, there are 13,000 lawsuits against Monsanto who, who makes Roundup Ready with the, with the chemical glyphosate in it. And in the first um, uh, the lawsuit, it was about a year ago, and there's 13,000 filed worldwide, so this is just the beginning of it. But in the first lawsuit, and the man was only in his 40s, he was a groundskeeper at a California high school, um, and he was spraying Roundup Ready. He got cancer, and, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, all that is is cancer of the blood. It's like leukemia, okay? But his lawyers made Monsanto disclose at the, at, at the trial, that uh, they have known since 1981. Now, that's 38 years ago, brother. 1981, they knew that exposure to one part per billion of Roundup Ready to the human body would not only cause cancer, but 15 other major diseases. I've got that list. See, food science companies... And, and, and I guarantee you the same thing is going to be happening with this 5G, okay, and the cell phone tower and the wireless radiation problem because the lawyers are now paying attention. There is enough medical proof that being exposed to those frequencies, okay, causes all these diseases I was mentioning, okay. You're going to start to see major lawsuits about that, okay, but see, the food science companies had known for years that uh, most of the food in this country is loaded with Roundup Ready. It's the number one weed killer in the world. 300 million pounds are sprayed on our food supply. But they were afraid to publish the list of the food for fear of lawsuits. Because even if they won the lawsuit, because they have the proof, you know, all the medical studies about all the food that contains the Roundup Ready, um, but they were afraid that the legal costs would bankrupt them. Well, in the first trial, Monsanto got nailed $289 million. So they said, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So they published the list of the food. If people will call me, I'll send them that list because all this disease state, and one thing everybody, unless they've been living in a cave, uh, has to admit, we have an epidemic of disease states. Cancer is out of control. Heart disease is out of control. Okay, um, and, and the number one killer in our children, as I mentioned, was cancer. And gee, all 26 breakfast cereals tested were loaded with Roundup Ready. So now there's a multi-multi-billion dollar lawsuit against General Mills. Because they've known it, okay? And I've got the list of the food. Here's a real simple rule of thumb, and this also has to do with the frequencies of the cell phones. If you can make your home a frequency-free zone as much as possible, okay, look how they're starting to mandate these smart meters being put on the home. Hmm, because I'm talking to people all over the country. They're being mandated and if you don't know what I mean by a smart meter, see the old electrical meters, what were called analog meters. And you can go out to look and see if one has been placed on your home, okay? Um, the old analog meters have turning wheels in them, like spinning wheels. If you go out and if you look at your electric meter and it's blinking numbers at you, digital, that's a smart meter. That is putting this electromagnetic frequency into your house 
and it's Big Brother on steroids. They know everything about what goes on in your house. And there's a lot of lawsuits. There's a lot of organizations that are now fighting this. But the states are starting to make it mandatory. Well, you know, that's kind of funny when you bring something like a smart meter up because it's just as much of a, I want to call it a folly, for lack of a better word, as what they call Obamacare. In other words, Mm -hmm. the government decides, well, okay, for the good of the people, we're going to make insurance available. But, of course, the prices that I can see weren't any different than they were before they had this wonderful breakthrough But the fact is, is insurance is a private company. That's just all there is to it. And so that was the first stupid mistake right there. I mean, I could see where maybe there was possibly an intention that was, you know, maybe good, but, you know, we don't, the outcome certainly didn't turn out that way. Now, what people should be aware of is it's the same thing with electricity. These are privately owned companies. Sure, they're publicly traded, but that means that you, as a consumer, should have absolute right to decide whether or not you want to, you know, be involved with it. And if I'm paying, you know, for a service, then God dang it, I'm going to have, you know, the kind of meter that I want to have on my house. And there shouldn't be any government body that should mandate anything. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, really, that's just as simple as it gets. It's common sense and it's wisdom. But there is a very sinister agenda. We won't get into all that today on this but you're exactly right and we uh okay one of the hardest things i and i'm 69 years old now i've been doing this for 30 years but i used to travel every weekend okay giving seminars my wife and i would travel and um um one of the hardest things that i saw this was even 20 years ago is that prideful americans because i would tell them right up front in these seminars all right and we were, uh, okay, we're talking about health-related things, but also just the history of our country. And I would show them irrefutable evidence that everything that we learned in public school was a lie. The only thing that was true was 2 plus 2 does equal 4. And I would show them irrefutable evidence. And I would tell them, some of you are going to accept it, some of you are going to reject it. It may offend some of you when I show you the truth. Because this isn't made-up stuff. This is all historical, okay? Um, so, and you're exactly right. How dare they? But see, these, these politicians don't care. Look what's going on now in Washington, D.C. Oh, my God. Okay? And uh, I'm very apolitical. I, I mean, uh, the only thing I care about is our country and the freedom, which are being taken away, and little by little. So, and you're exactly right. And, and you're one of the few people who has enough wisdom. How dare they mandate? Because their thing with these smart meters, well, uh, you know, we won't have to have men come around and read your meter every month. Oh, really? Well, why don't you tell the whole story that everything I do in my home, okay, is basically tracked. It's Big Brother on steroids. And they know every TV show you watch, every radio station you listen to every time you open your refrigerator door and they know everything that goes on in in your house that has to do with electricity and then they beam into the house this wireless technology that causes all these health concerns because if we look at just the facts last year big pharma raked in 3.7 trillion not billion $3.7 $3.7 trillion in the United States alone, and they didn't cure a disease. I challenge people every time I'm on the radio show, that shows that I do. Name me one disease that has been cured by Big Pharma. Now, what's Big Pharma great for? And I've seen it up close and personal. Trauma. I mean, if you have a heart attack or a stroke or a broken bone, you're not going to call a chiropractor. You're going to go to a trauma center, and what they can do there to save the life of a busted-up human body is miraculous. But $3.7 trillion, and we hear that word trillion, you know, because the, uh, the budget's trillions of dollars. If you, were to, <laughs> if you were to start counting and could count one number every second, a trillion seconds is 32,000 years. That's, you know, that's, and we hear a trillion this and a trillion that. We don't realize. 
So $3.7 trillion was spent on our sick care system. We don't have health, we don't have health care. And they didn't cure a single disease. So something wrong with that picture. So who's benefiting from all these disease states caused from the Roundup Ready, the glyphosate, you know? And, and again, it, it's a real simple rule of thumb. If, if you see a product advertised on TV, it's genetically modified poison. Because the television commercial is $250,000 for a 30-second commercial minimum. Who can afford that? Mom and pop organic store? No. The big pharma and the big agricultural businesses controlled by big pharma. They're partnered together. And it's the same thing going on with forcing the homes to take the smart meter. And um, if you don't, I mean, I'm getting calls all the time from our from our clients from different states. They said, if it, you know, because... Uh, uh, and in my case, here in Arizona, they came on my property illegal, and they put one on my home, even though I had a sign out there that says, no smart meter to be installed. Well, I, <laughs> I started not sleeping, and I said, wait a minute, what's wrong? I mean, uh, why all of a sudden? Okay, and we have a cell phone tower about, oh, probably four or five blocks away from us, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm, I have a gentleman I know who has very sophisticated equipment, and you can hire him. And he comes out to the homes, and he was testing, and, uh, and and he pointed this device that he has toward the back of the house, and it just went off the charts. Sound like a radioactive uh, Geiger counter. And he said, "Well, you have a smart meter." I said, "No, I don't." And sure enough, we went out there, and they had come on my property illegal even though there was a sign that says, do not install a smart meter, and they did. I called them up. I said, you've got one week. I said, I will file a lawsuit because there are organizations who are fighting back against this, and I told them I have, uh, I'm on radio programs where about a half a million people a month hear my shows, and I will blast you. I will bring out the truth, get this off of my house, I gave you no permission to come on my property illegally and put one on. Well, it's necessary, Mr. Parnum. I says, no, it's not. There's no law. Okay? And, and within three days, they had it off the house and put the other one on. No. Well, you know, and that's what I wanted to hear. That's very encouraging because, like you said, a lot of times that we uh, had done, we, we've done different programs over the years about how people can be, uh, let's say, better consumers since they want to be, you know, lay back and be called consumers. And one of the things we talked about was was electricity and power. Yeah. Now, here's a fact, and this is for everybody to know this, that there is actually a town, and now you're hearing more and more about this in Germany, where people have learned to get off the grid and to create their, you know, have their own electricity in such a way, you know, you're using different, uh, modalities of being able to get power into your home, that this town has actually created a surplus of more than $38 million a year in selling power back to the power companies. Mm -hmm. Now, look, this was a town that actually made money <laughs> by learning how to do this. And it's something you can do now. You know, it's something that can be done. It takes a little bit of work little bit of change but you don't change you know how you like to use power in your house if you like watching your tv and you like hot showers and dishwashers all that can be made but ma imagine doing all that where the power company actually owes you money and it's actually happening here in the united states you're right and but what was encouraging was the fact that you stood head to head as i said well, the power company is not a government-run agency and even if they were they you know really don't have a right without your permission to do anything to your private property at all i mean that's just the constitutional right that you have in owning property in your home okay and so when they say well this is necessary it's like first of all you didn't solicit my business to do this so i didn't give you permission to do that just like you said you had a sign there then you called and challenged them and three days later they came back and said okay we're going to go ahead and take this off your home well, that's good because somebody's going to take it off my home, and Ben, if I don't, you know, maybe I'll find another way besides you guys to get my power. See, so become somebody who starts voting and making decisions with your wallet, and you're going to change it. I mean, let's take a look at you talk about the food industry. 
uh, I've been in hospitality, uh, it's been quite a while, but I was in it for years, and just the scape of how people eat now is astounding. People want more natural choices. I mean, we're talking even kids. The fast food companies, you're not seeing lines in them anymore. You know, you're not even seeing people in the stores anymore. Where you do see them, you know, are places that are more natural. They're moving toward more natural decisions. So don't feel like there's this giant, huge Goliath out there. And if there is, there's a hell of a lot of Davids out there taking care of business. Thank you. I'm so it, it's now we've got about three minutes left here. So uh, okay. now let's talk about quickly with this 5G and 6G and all that. What would you suggest people do, you know, in, in that situation? Okay, first of all, get educated. And, I can, and, and that's why I say please call me at my research office in Arizona. We're on West Coast time until the time change. But it's 480-429-0021. I will send you as many articles by email as you would like. I don't want to overload you. Let me give you some good news. I am working because there's all sorts of companies popping up saying, we have little devices you can put on your cell phone. We've got little chips and we've got this. Right, I'm familiar with those. I know. I've been researching them for five years. I am currently working with a group of the most brilliant research scientists from all over the world. They come from um, uh, Japan, Germany, Russia, here in this country, and they will have a prototype out, of. they they call it the coil, okay? And we're talking a prototype within two to four weeks that um, neutralizes the harmful frequencies. Now, it's got to go through the testing, but in in doing conference calls with these people, uh, uh, the, the scientists, It sounds very promising. But the first thing is, please, get educated about it. Don't stick your head in the sand, okay? And uh, and there are things that you can do to at least make your house a safe nest, as I call it. If you have Wi-Fi in the house, turn it off at night so you can sleep better, okay? Uh, And there are, um, are supplementation things you can do to repair the cellular damage from this. But the greatest thing is, and it, it was such a pleasure talking to you, Daniel, because you know about it. And it is freedom, okay, for us not to have these things put on our home, okay, without our permission, okay, just because the power company wants to make more money and not have as many people working for them. So, and, and, and then they don't. Well, that's just service. called good old fashioned capitalism. In other right. words, you improve your service and you reduce your overhead costs so you're not as sloppy as the government that we have working for us in the first place. Yep, <laughs> yep. And one thing, too. And since Europe can do it, why shouldn't we be able to do it? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if you've heard this with all the fires going on in California and you're hearing about. Right. Okay. Um, the people who had um, uh, solar panels on their house who had been sold a lie spent fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and you'll be off the grid. Well, when their power was shut off by PG&E, the solar panels didn't work. That's coming out, and, you, and, 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 and PG&E is bankrupt, okay, the power company, and they're shutting off the power again as the fires are starting up again. But the people who were sold the lie that, well, the solar panels will make you energy independent, and, then when, uh, and they didn't tell them they were tied in with the grid, so when PG&E shut off the power, you know, to try to stop these fires, uh, people didn't have power, even though they had fifteen, twenty thousand dollars worth of solar panels. Yeah, I'll tell you a quick funny story, and then we've got to we've got to uh, finish up. Is yeah. that uh, it's right up there with the pellet stove? Sure. Well, that's a great stove, but for one thing, it's noisy, and you got to plug it in. So if you don't have electricity, you don't have heat either. Thank you. <laughs> and again, people are starting to wake up, like you mentioned about food. And yet, here in Scottsdale, they just opened up the world's largest White Castle. I don't know if you've ever heard, ever heard of the White Castle. Yeah, I'm very familiar with that. They, uh, and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You had people lined up, and they showed on TV. Most of the people going through it were grossly overweight. Mm-hmm. And they ran out of food. Of course they did. So it's... It's so sad, and thank God people are waking up, and I call it Maggot Burgers and Kentucky Fried Cancer and that. But 
Um, it's information first. Get informed like you clearly are, Daniel. Thank you for the wisdom that you have on this. But, um, yeah, just if the people will just call me, I'll send them all the information because the first step is get, get wisdom about this situation going on. Well, you know, and the biggest thing I want to leave people with, too, and I've said this many years over the years of the show, I don't want to be right. I just want to say, here's something. Why don't you think about it? Why don't you look into it? And if it seems reasonable to you, and that's all I mean is just reasonable, then go ahead and move in that, in, in that direction. Does it make you feel better as a result? If it does, then I guess you're going in the right direction. That's right. And the biggest thing is, is don't start getting self-righteous and jump up on a stump and pound everybody over the head with it. Right. <laughs> Suggest it just like we do. We just say, hey, you know, here's some things to take a look at, you know, and pursue it. If it makes you happy, hey, then you're on your way. If it don't, then find something else. But in the meantime, figure things out for yourself. That's what, what, what you were made with a brain is to, is to figure things out, not just sit back and passively have so-called experts tell you, you know, well, this is the way you need to live. You know what's the best way to live because that's what, what the heart and the mind and the spirit are all about. And that's, that's also right. what our show is about as well. So Good I want to thank you. you for, yeah, I want to thank you for being on the program. And one last time, go ahead and give out a website, a way people can connect with you. Well, the best way to connect, our website, I don't have this information up there. Our website just has some of our products. Call me directly at my research office, 480-429-0021. If you get the voicemail, leave your name and number. I'll always call you back because if you get the voicemail, I'm just on the other line doing a consultation. So I look forward to talking to your listeners, and I'll get them all the information that they need to make an intelligent decision. All right. Well, thank right, you brother. again for being on the program. Thank you for your time. We Take want to care. thank you, the listeners out there, for joining us. You can discover <laughs> more at beyond50radio.com. That is the number 50. We do encourage to sign up for our weekly e-newsletter. Keep up to date with what's going on in the world of Beyond 50 as well as our upcoming shows. I'm Daniel Davis. Thank you for joining us. This is the Beyond 50 Radio program. And remember, live your day past halfway. <laughs>